everyone, welcome to another episode of Kitty Fixes, and today we are fixing a home in Oasis Springs. So today we are fixing Agave Abode, or um, Agave Abode, I assume it's Agave though, because um, that kind of seems accurate for um, the kind of, well, it, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I assume it's Agave Abode, uh, don't ask questions. Um, <laughs> So I'm a little stressed out right now, but that's fine. I'm doing this to hopefully um, fix the stress because, <laughs> uh, yikes, um, I'm really concerned right now, but it's okay. Um, so I turned this home into, well, I didn't, I didn't really turn it into anything um, because it was two bedrooms and one bathroom and I kept it at two bedrooms, one bathroom. Um, but before it was very dark and, uh, dimly lit and very dull and, uh, very closed off as well. I guess you could say closed off, I guess. Um, so I made it, um, relatively open plan, um, and I actually really do enjoy how it turned out. So, yeah. And right now I'm just trying to figure out what kind of color scheme I want to go for like the windows and doors and stuff like that. And I end up using that uh, glass door from Cats and Dogs. And I use all Cats and Dogs windows as well. Um, and there is some Cats and Dogs stuff um, because I do make it so uh, there is a cat bed, a litter box, and like a scratching post and a um, food bowl. So, um, I assume this family that lives here after I renovated it has a cat, and, um, my kind of theory, I guess, for the sims that lived here were a single father and his son, um, who is probably, like, like, nine or ten, maybe, maybe, like, eight, I don't know, um, and he's really into Void Critters, which, if you guys don't know what Void Critters are, they're basically Sims version of Pokemon. Um, because his room has, like, lots of Void Critter stuff, and, uh, yeah. And the father is, in my mind at least, is, um, in the business field. Um, okay, so I got a phone call, uh, that made me even more stressed out. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I completely lost track of what I was saying. Um, I think I was saying something to the extent of how I think the father that lives here is like pretty successful in the business career um i don't know i just that's that's kind of how i see it going or how i see him as a person i guess um and just working on the layout now oh and i do add a dining room like a specific dining room to this house because before um the living room was also the dining room um, because they had, like, one of the really crappy base game tables there and everything. Um, so this ends up being the final layout. There's also, like, a little office area that I added, which I really enjoy how that turned out. Um, and there's a fish tank in it, which is cute. And, uh, yeah. I don't know, I just really like how this house turned out in the end. It did take a while to get there, though. Um, especially for the outside, because I had no clue what I actually wanted. Um, but I do like how it turns out with the, like, yellowish-brown siding, and then the dark brown, um, the dark brown windows and door, um, and, like, all the dark brown accents and stuff. I, yeah, I, I don't know, I really like it. And, um, I, there is terracotta in this house still. Um, originally, the, like, the kitchen floor, the bathroom floor is terracotta, and so is, like, the deck outside. Um, and that's still what it is. Uh, the, the bathroom floor, the kitchen floor, and the deck are still terracotta. Um, because I, I love terracotta tiles anyway. Um, and I just thought it was really nice to kind of, uh, leave it in. So, um, yeah, I recorded this in two different sittings. Um, so we just barely got on to where I started today, um, because I, like, I did the layout and, like, the siding one day, and then, and then, um, I took a rest because I had a really long day the next day, um, and then the rest of it I finished today. Um, I probably finished it just, like, maybe 20 minutes ago, 
Um, because like I said, uh, things are stressful. Um, but it's okay. Um, I'll get through it. I know I will. And are you guys excited for laundry day tomorrow? I am. Um, I'm not necessarily excited for the concept of laundry though. I'm more excited for the build by objects and the cast items that we got. Um, because I did do a trailer review on that on Friday the 12th. Um, so definitely go and check that out if you guys are interested. Um, I don't know. There's a lot. I scream a lot in that video. It's fine. Um, and tomorrow I will be doing a, like, kind of review thingy on, or, like, first impressions on laundry day. Uh, so be sure and stay tuned for that. And then in the, okay, back to the build. Um, in the kitchen, I did leave a little bit of a hint of the, um, original house because originally the whole exterior was this, like, white painted brick. And, um, I wanted some sort of backsplash for the kitchen, like I normally do, um, in the bathroom. And I didn't want to do normal tiles, so I ended up using the white painted brick. And I think it looks really nice. Um, and so yeah. And this house does end up being relatively more modern than it was originally, and I really like it. Um, typically, I'm not one for modern houses, but, um, I, I, like I said, I love how this one turned out. Um, and it's like a really nice mix of the two. And here you'll see me searching for something that I probably scrolled by like three times. Um, it came with cats and dogs. I knew that much and I knew exactly what it looked like, but I couldn't find it. Uh, so you guys will see me searching for that. It took way too long to find it. Um, I actually had to go through like all the things and it ended up being in like the first spot I looked. I just like scrolled past it. Um, because I'm talented like that, you see? It's fine. Um, but yeah, wow, I rambled through about half of this video already. Are you guys proud of me? You should be. Um, I'm proud of myself. It's fine. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what to talk about anymore. Um, I guess I'll talk about what happened yesterday to me. <laughs> um, yesterday, the day I'm recording this, not yesterday when it's posted, because, um, I'm recording this on Saturday. Um, so, Friday was the, my, the worst day ever. January 12th. It's the worst day ever already. Um, we are 12 days into the new year, and I'm sick of it already. Um, so, first things first. I'm the realist. Uh, no. But seriously, so, I... <laughs> so, my friend messaged me, like, probably a week ago, um, and he's like, hey, you have a running car, right? And I was like, yeah. Um, and he's like, oh, well, could we, could you take us to, uh, so-and-so so we can do, like, for an appointment or whatever? And I was like, yeah, definitely. Um, and there, I was like, well, how early? And he's like, oh, well, we have to be there for seven. I was like, all right, so, like, leave by six, whatever, you know? Um, and he was like, yeah, we'll be able to show up at your house and, and, uh, we'll go from there. And I was like, oh, okay, that sounds fine to me. Like, whatever. <laughs> and then he messages me the night before I'm supposed to go get him and his wife and, and their kid. Um, these are, like, some of my best friends. So, um, yeah. Um, so, words. Um, so he texts me the night before and he goes, um, would you be able to pick us up? And I was like, where? And then he sends me the address and I'm like, all right. Um, so, you know, whatever, that adds an extra hour to my day. So I had to get up at 4 a.m. Um, to go get them, right? Um, so then I, I got up at 4 a.m. and I drove over to their house and whatever. And, you know, it was 4 a.m. I'm not a morning person. So like, this is already a shitty day. Um, and then uh, people were just being, like, really mean to me, um, because I, like, I, my, uh, check engine light's on in my car, and my friend was like, oh, it's probably, like, this, or this, or this, whatever, you know? Um, and I was like, oh, okay. So I was texting the person that, like, mainly works on my car, and I was like, hey, I think it's, I, you know, I think it's this, um, or he thinks it's this, and then the person working on my car 
that normally works on my car got very sassy with me and I was like, okay, whatever. And just like being incredibly rude. So that was pissing me off. Um, and to add to it, it was like raining. Um, and it's winter time. So like rain plus ice isn't a good mix. Um, if you guys don't know, hello, come to Maine, you'll find out. Um, so then there's that. And so like, I was just already like kind of tired. I was like, you know, I'm done with today. And I had to work later too. Um, so I had to work one thirty to 7. Uh, so I was like, oh my god, I'm not ready for this. I just want to go home and take a nap before I, before I go to work. Um, so I, <laughs> so, um, we are, we are, um, at my house, um, in two separate cars now because, th uh, they were buying a car from a private seller, um, at this at, so we went out to this person's house and they drove back and whatever and we went out for breakfast after and stuff like that um so so we get back to my house and I had to pick up like a few things from Walmart and Dollar Tree um so I did that while we were in the area and I get out of my car and my car one of my car's doors um the back driver's side door like won't shut completely you have to like force it and it's really difficult um, so I'm getting out of my car and I put the stuff in the back seat. So I open the like dryer side back door to get it out. Um, and I have everything in my hands. Like, you know, I'm, I'm done. Like I'm going in, like I'm headed inside, you know? Um, and I'm working on shutting the store because it's a, it's like a massive pain in the ass. And I fucking fall flat on my fucking knees and if you guys didn't know I had surgery on one of my knees a little over a month ago um so I start bawling because holy fuck it hurt and so I got inside and I was like okay whatever um I still have my parents so they're like January all right and I was like no I can't really walk on it so I called out of work and I was like hey can't work can't walk on my leg uh fell on it really hard hurts like hell can't walk da 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 and so my supervisor was like all right so then I went to the ER and spent three hours in there just for them to tell me oh it's a pretty deep bone bruise gotta stay off it for a few days and so I had to call out for all this weekend and my supervisor is now mad at me um <laughs> So, basically, yesterday was literally one of the worst days of my life. Just because I woke up at 4 a.m., I fell on the ice, I was in the ER for three hours, I got my supervisor mad at me, and apparently people at work were talking shit at me, about me because I call out so much. Um, and it's always for valid reasons like, hey, I can't get out of my driveway, or hey, I can't talk, or hey, I can't fucking walk on my legs that I had surgery on, and just directly fell on. Um, so yeah, I, yesterday was just awful, um, but hopefully today will be better, yikes, um, I don't know, uh, it's not going well, but it's. Oh god, hopefully it'll get better. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, though. Um, and I'm sorry to, like, burden you, but I feel like you guys are my friends. Um, and now we're into screenshots, so I am going to get going right now, but I hope you guys are having a perfect afternoon, evening, or whatever, wherever you are in your neck of the world. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Become a Popper, because I post new videos all the damn time, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and if you guys want to become a popper be sure to hit that subscribe button.